Sponsored by Salud Beer Shop, located at 3306 North Davidson Street in the Noted District of Charlotte. Check out their huge selection of craft beer in bottles, cans, and growlers, and see what's on tap in the tasting room. Salud Beer Shop. Drink real beer. Hi, I'm Glenn. This is Dave. We're NC Beer Guys. We promote North Carolina craft beer online at ncbeerguys.com. Uh, we're doing a little something different over there, beer video. We're out at the Twin Leaf Brewery with uh, Tim and Steph Weber, who are the owners, and we're gonna drink their beer, and they're gonna drink their beer, and we're gonna talk about it. They know their beer better than we do, of course, but we're gonna see what we think of it, and let them explain to you about where the beer came from, and how it's doing here, and what they think of the beer, and what the intent of the beer was. And what was the line you always say? Oh, <laughs> drink local, <laughs> and keep your beer dollars in North Carolina. That line I always say. Uh, <laughs> so you got me in a new environment, and this thing, I'm forgetting my normal pattern. Yep. So forgive us for turning our back to you, but we're gonna talk to these guys, and you can join us in. Yep. So, what are we drinking? This is uh, Upper ESP. Okay. It's one of our house beers, so it's always here on top of Twin Leaf. Always had it since you opened? Yep. Okay. And it one will of your old time favorites? Yes. Recipes? It's the recipe that we worked the hardest on. Um, we probably brewed this 30 times before we really felt like we nailed it. Um, it's just a style that we we both really enjoy, and, and a lot of other people do as well. And it's just something that you can drink like in, in any occasion. It's just a something it's a go-to beer you know so and what should I expect as a drinker well it's first of all it's very drinkable and very I mean it's I would say sessionable but it's not low enough alcohol to be called sessionable but it it's one that you just kind of baby B is what it's uh five point six right now okay, so that's that's close. Sorry, that's that's five point seven right now for some of us yeah. <laughs> right right um, <laughs> but it's it's just one of those beers that you it's it's just a go-to you know and um you can just sit there and kind of drink it and just enjoy or you can really sit here and think about it, and like there's tons of complexity to it. So you talk can... about style. What should every ESB be? Now, with with this, uh, if you tried other ESBs in the past, um, usually they kind of tend to be more caramely. Um, we normally don't care for caramely beers. We actually have a lot of biscuit malt and that's victory malt to give it more of a biscuity taste. Um, yes, yeah, like bread. You know? oh, okay. It's got a little bit of chocolate hints in it. It's darker than some of these right? That's right. Yep. Okay. It's a little bit darker. Um, and didn't pour a great big head as normal yep. because they're they're not as carbonated as some of these, right? Right. Yeah, we Those actually are both we do, yes. style. We keep the CO2 a little bit lower on these. Okay. Beers. So I know something about beer. <laughs> so so uh, we always we should first talk about the look, and we did briefly. The aroma, should I get the, you said biscuit malt? It should come half the Yes, in. bread, chocolate, yep. just a little bit of caramel in there. A little floral from the hops that we use. Right. Um, Fuggles, one of the main hops that we oh, use. Oh, wow, okay. Um, yeah. And, and it does that? It's just kind of a rich... I don't actually get a lot of chocolate. I get the maltiness clever. Oh, yeah. Taste it. Taste it. You're going to jump ahead of it. You're going to jump ahead you got to start drinking it. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. And um, something like this, because it's uh, it's not very rich, it's a good food, uh, good food pair. Oh, yes. It's, it goes yeah. well with a lot of different Awesome with barbecue. Barbecue, okay. steak. Yeah. Yep. I mean, it's because it's, it's potent enough to hold its own against a fairly substantial meal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it also dries out enough in the end right. that it allows it's you to nice. really taste the food too. It dries it does it's really, really, really nice. nice. It's like sweet, sweet up front, and then it kind of dries out. Yeah. Up. It's which it's kind of different for me for the SV. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of them are more malt forward. Mm -hmm. And this one kind of has a nice balance to it. That's yeah. Balance. Yeah. Love balance. We went for a nice. So, and in your array of flagships, is it the best seller or where does it fall? Um, it's it's one of the best sellers. Okay. The, okay. the best by far is our IPA, 144 from yeah. Maine. We're in Asheville, you know, IPA. Oh, IPA. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, and, and through summer, our Belgian wit has been one of the hot Good. sellers too. It's and a you very find summer people don't know this beer, don't know what it is. Yes. Yeah, a lot yeah, of people don't. This is your education beer in some way. Yeah, yes. and sometimes people come in and say, I really like amber beers. And then we say, well, why don't you try the CSB? And they try it. Oh, what is this? But because it's not called amber. Yeah. 
I had actually, uh, my father's college buddy comes in and swears by Core's life. Mm -hmm. I gave him one of these, now he swears by this. Yeah. Yeah. Now he seeks out every ESP. So Tim has converted another one. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so thanks again for having us in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uproot ESP. If you're out and about anywhere in Asheville where you can get the uh, Twin Lake Park, or you're certainly welcome to come to the tap room. Right it's open most afternoons. And uh, until next time, remember, drink local, keep your beer dogs North Carolina, and we'll catch you later, buds. <laughs>